I only have an old version of this. Okay, so on homework two, number, was it number 10? Or no, number 12. Okay. Number 12, um, the definition they have in the book, um, the, so you have uh, in the book something like, um, something like this. Well, actually, I, I could pull it up, but you have an integral. It's actually, it's um, the probability that f of, a capital Y, I mean, a probability that, um, is you it have the definition. Actually, this might have been what you gave us. That I gave, yeah, this one's easier to use, but, um, so the definition I gave you in here, it's equivalent to the definition that they have in the book, okay. because f of Y is non-decreasing. That's one of the theorems that mm -hmm. I had you guys explore yesterday that yep. I said was a great problem. So, because f of Y is a non-decreasing non function, when you're taking the smallest p that's there, you're actually getting that value that uh, is the same thing that you have in the book. So this, for me, is an easier way to understand it because I can graph it and just chop, I can picture that graph and just chop it off and say, ah, that's where p is. Okay. But to find that p, it's actually a limit of integration. So you can actually see it. There's a picture I saw on the internet that was really good. Let me pull that one up, see if I can recreate it. I don't think our, um, what do they call this? I, they, they called it something in your book. P -th per, or Q -th percentile or P -th percentile? Yes. Yeah, P. Yeah, yeah P quantile. Quantile. Right. So I, I found a nice little site that has something on that. Um, was it, maybe, maybe it was on Wikipedia. So this is called the quantile function. It's the name of it. And they had a nice picture here that illustrates what's going on. I thought it was on the site. Yeah, they do. It's not on the site, but um, there's a picture here. So um, you're really just chopping off the curve. This is a discontinuous curve, so I don't really like it that much. But you're looking down at this thing right here. Um, that's the upper limit of the integration function. If, you have, if you're given the probability density function, um, this would be the upper limit of that probability density function. Right, because you're integrating from one to the other, okay, right? Yes. yes. So and so, I did a calculation with you guys yesterday um, on the board sheet last problem. Um, so you could actually see me work through it with numbers on and something like I think we were looking for the median. So your upper limit would be 0.5. Okay, so that's how number 12 works then, because we were we were confused on that. So you would use this, where your upper limit would be 0.5 and your lower limit would be negative infinity. Yes. Okay. What did and I ask you guys to, uh, to do on that one? You asked for the median. On yeah, that yeah. I said supply the median. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the median would be point, up to upper limit would be 0. 0.5. So um, if you wanted the 30th percentile, you'd go. It would be 0. 0.3. Mm -hmm. So I think I had that in the notes yesterday. So, um, mm -hmm. I think number eight is the one where we talked about it. We didn't write anything down, but that's where you just have to prove that they're disjoint sets in order for it to work. Yeah. You remember? That's the one that's so I think I, just to pull back, cause like this last problem, I went over it in class, mm -hmm. but it's in your board problem solutions. I have to dump that into you. Okay. But you see, like, if you want the median, you want, I put median up there, but it's that's the missing thing. You would set one half equal to this integral because that's, you want halfway of that area under the curve. And um, and so you're looking for the unknown variable is this v median. It's the upper limit. It's that value that you're looking down on the um, x-axis for it. So it turns out that that value is the median. Okay. So the median would be half of the area under the curve. Which makes sense. Yeah, that's what you're doing. Um, I. I'm trying to think, in, is it in 206 that you guys talk about medians? Do you talk about it with discrete distributions or? I think discrete. Yeah. OK. So you kind of remember looking at it and saying the median would be halfway through. through yes. OK. Yes. 
So it's the same thing, but now you have a continuous distribution. So um, halfway through would be the, instead of summing it, you're doing an integral. And so you're looking for half of that total area and then you're taking, okay. looking for that upper limit. When, where does that happen? And so I, I did the calculation here um, in your board sheet for showing, proving the median was equal to the mean in the case of the uniform distribution. Okay. So it, that calculation is pretty similar. So I'll save it right now into your Dropbox. Thank you. Yeah, I was looking for that last time. Like, <laughs> you guys have to remind me because like, <laughs> I, I put it in, um, I don't want to put it in the, I will do that sometime during the semester. I'll accidentally put it in there. Um, but yeah, I don't want to put it in there before you guys are doing the board sheet. <laughs>